Okay, hi. All right, so if you're new to our account, this is my sister Amy. I've got three sisters, and we all live close to each other now, and it's We're number, so I'm number fun. six. She's number seven. She's number six. I'm the baby number seven, and we are just the best of friends. And we're I, so happy she's home. I'm, she's home to Utah, and I'm it's so home. good. And we're partying every day. We're partying every day. It's getting a little exhausting. So today was nothing. It was the same thing. Party today was again. a party again. We have so many kids between all of us. It's a little crazy. But um, we were we were with some friends, and we were with. Um, I know that you guys want to see more of our homes and lifestyle and everything, which is. Great, because we love to talk about all things. We are an open book. We love to talk about everything besides just food. Mm -hmm. But and we've drawn so much of our inspiration from our friend Desiree. She's been, she's I talk about a Desiree a lot. And a lot of you have said, well, where's her Instagram? Where's her blog? Where's her... And she she's doesn't mysterious. have one. She's mysterious. <laughs> and we like to keep it that way. <laughs> we like to keep her all to ourselves. But I, we're thinking of doing a fun, like, talk about home and... Um, Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Is the microphone at the bottom or the top? I'm not sure. Can you hear? Can you hear okay. us? Can I you hear us? Can. Okay. I just... But it was a thought. What were we saying that we wanted to talk about more about oh. home and lifestyle? And we think it would be so fun because a lot of people keep asking me, well, show more. Show what she does. Why do you love her? Why do you love her style? And I want to do a QA and a with her. Mm -hmm. I just think it would mm -hmm. be so fun and interesting for you to come with any of your home ideas because the thing is, is that we love to create what? Just well, we just great... want, we want everybody to be able to have a home that they're happy to come home to and that they feel calm and peaceful and just, it's your sanctuary. Your home should be your sanctuary. And you want to enjoy the space that you're in and feel good mm -hmm. because then it makes it so you want to, I don't know, I, when I'm happy in my house, then it makes me want to cook Just even introduce more. them to Desiree for okay, a second. Okay, fine, fine. Come okay, here, Des. Desiree, Just come here. Just come say hi for a second. Just oh, wait, for a second. People We're hesitate to get on do this. Oh. We're making her do this. Oh, oh, this okay. is Des. <laughs> You we guys, is she her. not beautiful? Oh, yes. She's beautiful. She's tall. You, she's not. beautiful. She knows it all. She knows it all. <laughs> and she helps. Why do you, what What do you, what would you say about creating space and every, I don't know. What well, would you want to say? I think our homes are a reflection of what's inside of us. Yeah. And so we're trying to create our homes. We're in our heads a lot. We need to live from our hearts. And so yeah. when you find something you love, it's like creating food. You know, you're drawn to certain things that have certain energies that reflect what you love from your heart. So anyways, that's what design is. And you find people you love that you create with. And honestly, just to create a home that you love, it's not pretentious. You don't have to have a lot of money. It doesn't I mean, have to be perfect. It doesn't. It's all about embracing the imperfections of things. So. And you know what's fun that's is right. that she has made us love old things. Like and quirky and things. quirky things. I got a patty box over there that I want out of the house, and she keeps bringing it back in. I take it out, she brings it back I in. I didn't know what the patty box it's fine. is. Okay, but yes, the thing that we love about it is she loves to bring a mix of old and new, and it's something that we are so embracing because I mean, literally, it's things that people would throw away, and that's what's so fun. I hope they can hear us because there's not any comments coming in, but okay. I hope they can hear us. But I think it would be interesting interesting you guys she has so many deep amazing thoughts and we want to get into her brain and I'm making them I force people to get on this Instagram so it's so fun isn't she beautiful yes. but this is fun so we're gonna honestly do maybe a do a Q&A with her with any fun amazing house ideas that you would like to ask because she knows how to do it and she can incorporate anything with like we said you don't have to have a lot of money you don't anyways it's no. amazing She's amazing. Thanks, Thanks, for you guys. Yes. Thanks, Thanks you. Des. Okay, so fun. Just finally oh. got the Food Danny's first book. Sweet. Finally. Life you, has begun. Life has begun. Life has for begun. You. I'm okay. gonna show you how to okay. make a mint julep. Okay, maybe so scoot maybe back scoot just a back tiny a bit. bit. Um, so I explain here. why you well, have the reason wanted I wanted to show, to show so it is because it's summertime, and how many diet cokes can we possibly drink? Sometimes it's okay to break it up a little. So water's great. Add some mint to your water, but if you want a special drink for some friends, we're gonna say there's six 
pieces of ice or just fill your mug okay, up. Okay, we, she got these in Mexico, but you guys, copper cups. I, I've got to go get some. I'm, I'm mad now. I don't have So any. fill your <laughs> cup up with ice. Fill it up A with lot ice. Of Diet Coke. Is anybody yes. growing mint in the garden? Because we are. Okay, so, so maybe she's got we should get some garden. fresh mint. But you can buy this at the local grocery store. So I just put three or four sprigs. And the longer you let the mint sit, the more mintier it's going to taste, which is good. I think uh, I just missed something. So if something. you make them a little Hold bit on. ahead of time. Come but, here. So you're going to fill it up with ice. What is that? I have your second cookbook and your measuring spoon. Love them both. Oh, fabulous. So Love just, you more. So back to our drink. We've got two. We're going to do two capfuls of Tarani. And okay, where do you the, get this? Well, I got here, this locally, if you're local. But Gigi's has this. I think, um, World market, doesn't World right? Market have World all market this? Has World all Market has starts. this. But I think you don't want it too sugary. So I just do two caps. Explain no, okay, two caps. What size of cups do you think these are? Four ounces? No, eight. I would say that's at least a cup, right? That would be a cup. I don't know if these are yes, eight ounces. Yes, yes. It doesn't matter. <laughs> You're just trying to make a light drink. And then, see. Lizzie, help me. We're gonna squeeze two lemons in okay. each of them. Okay, we're squeezing two, two lemons. Two lemons, so two capfuls, two lemons. Not two full lemons, like two wedges. Two wedges. Okay. For those. And you can add more if you want more lemon. Come on, let's what think outside of What flavor is terrain, she said. What flavor of syrup? It's, it's, well, yeah, just, the, oh. it's just the sweetener. It's just the plain syrup. You could add Cane, something else. But... sugar, sweetener, syrup. Yeah. We'll take a picture of it. Okay. And then uh, this was the only seltzer water they had at Smith's when I went. They were sold out of all the other ones. So it doesn't really matter. You just want a club soda. And you're just going to fill it up. And make sure your mint sits in there. They're long just enough. really light and refreshing because we do drink a lot of Diet Coke, and so it is something different. It's just different a change of pace, but it's not. But it's still, it's a little bubbly. It's a little fuzzy. Mm. Okay, so is this all you do? Take your knife. Look how easy. Okay. Look at this. If Fabulous. you make nothing else for your friends when they come over. And yeah. I love how she sliced the, sliced the lime on the side. And it's really fun in the copper cups, but you don't have to have the copper cups. Cheers. Any cups. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Let me taste. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. That one's really lemony. Really good. Good. Love really it. good. It's light and refreshing. If you've never I'm if had I didn't put any of this in here. If you've never had one, what she would you can add more if it's not enough, but you don't want it too sweet. It's to well, curve What would you that. explain it tastes like if what? nobody's ever had one? Uh, just kind of like lemon water. Like but, lemon water. But with a, um, do, you, do you drink sparkly? It's basically like, you know, um, what am I thinking of? Um, um, Pellegrino. Oh, yeah, Pellegrino so a little bit. It's kind of like Pellegrino, but. Anyway, so this was fun. So look a what all you sweeter. need. Add a little more sweetener if it's not sweet enough for you. But the whole idea is it's supposed to be refreshing. Okay, well, just tell them what you used. This is all you used. Oh. She used the cane sugar sweetener, seltzer water. Or, just club say, right? soda. Club soda. Some fresh mint and limes. That's it. That's it. And, and it's limes. really good. And lots and of fresh ice. limes. And lots of ice. Lots That's of ice. it. That's it. Perfect. Okay, and then for tonight, you guys, we made our mango salsa, yeah. if you can see. So yummy and good. And then we have tilapia that we just pan fried, which you can do. You can do tilapia many different ways. You can put it in the oven. You, you can put it on the grill if you wanted to. But we just put it in a um, a pan fry pan with olive oil, salt, and pepper, and that's it. And of course, it's all our French salt. What makes it so good? And then we have jasmine rice. And jasmine rice, you can most of the time get in a big bag at Costco. Jasmine is the best. Amy, why is jasmine just so good? I don't know. It I is like, the best. I like um, they eat it a lot in Asia. Don't they eat a lot of jasmine rice yeah, in Asia? Yeah, jasmine rice is tons in Asia. So this is just a light summer dinner. We're going to have some plain rice Here. Here. that I'm we did. We just put some olive oil, salt in the water, and then we just did some rice. And then just put some. I'm gonna get you a piece oh, of fish. Oh, okay. We're gonna get some fish, and then we're gonna get. Okay, jasmine doesn't get sticky. No, it doesn't, and I love it. I think the flavor is incredible. Okay, but this never is a super it. fast meal. We've been out Be all day, fast. and look, we've already got dinner. This dinner was minutes. done in literally 20 minutes. You so got some fish. You can put some of this on the side. I would just top it. On top of it. Yeah, on top of the fish. Yeah. Yum. 
yum eat. And these mangoes, look. Look how yummy and fresh it is. And like we say, we just came home. We've had a crazy day and look what we did. We got our mint julep going on and our fish going on. So this yummy. is really yummy. Yummy, and if this your kids don't good. like this, serve them the fish with a little bit of vegetable. You could heat up a vegetable in the microwave. It's delicious and super fresh. So that was on tonight's menu. But the mango salsa is in book number one if you've never made it. You could take this to any side during summer yeah, looks, and you could looks, you know, this, serve with chips and salsa. Really yummy. It's This looks yummy. like something I want to eat for Ooh, summer. Oh yeah. Doesn't it? I think it looks really good. Okay, well, does anybody have any questions? I We just thought this would be so fun, and I love to incorporate more of my family. We just, we're just going to keep this fun and interesting. The party's never going to end. The party's never going to end. The party's never going to end. But we really wanted to show you this because Amy has been the mint julep well, queen. I got mint growing out there and so we got to use it but honestly if you go to like has such an amazing garden I know but if you're at like the Kentucky Derby in that I mean they're gonna this be, is what they serve they're you be serving you a mint drink like this so it's just so fun on a hot day not that Anyways, I go to the Kentucky Derby every day it's just a dream well I know <laughs> and Casey our cute friend Casey it's is filming us. for us Oh my gosh, it takes an army sometimes yes. with all these it's kids. It's been a crazy day. It's been a crazy Lizzie's day. It's amazing to do this. So, anyways, are, should we be done? Does anybody have any questions for us? Yeah. Any questions for Amy? This Can is just going to be so light and good. A tour of her garden? Sure, you want sure. a tour? They sure. love having okay, a tour. Okay, come on, come on out. This, come on, do you is... want to film? Okay, come on. <laughs> or, or just, you can take it, you can take it. Should I take it? Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. let's give a tour. She's got an incredible okay, garden out here. It's not done. This is a work in progress. This is three years in the making, people. Okay, well, you can explain okay, about okay, it. Okay, look, I really wanted gravel to handle the weeds, which this just barely kind of got finished. I'll take you on a little tour. Right here, we're gonna grow wisteria, and it bloomed really, really good a couple weeks ago, and now it's dying. The hose is out. I didn't know we were coming out, but is this gonna, I've got the tomato plants over here in this box and green peppers do you see the peppers growing show them, Amy, the bell peppers husband i mean my these. husband's ma I my mean, husband made these these are incredible made these let's see and then over here we have squashes and zucchinis my zucchinis are in would uh my zucchinis are in full swing these are more i didn't do any cherry tomato i didn't do any regular tomatoes because the cherry were the only one that got finished for me. See all these black hoses? Those will be for pots that will have flowers and, and do you see those black hoses? So what, it's a drip line? Yeah, it's a drip line for my pots. But this is broccoli. The broccoli's coming up. These onions are need to be picked. I mean, look how big those onions are. This is supposed to grow artichoke. I don't see the artichoke yet. I'm hoping. We've got some carrots in this box and Brussels sprouts. A ton, those Brussels sprouts, I don't see any Brussels sprouts, but the leaves are sure getting large. They're getting really big. We're gonna try to do, we've got some grapes and some apple trees that are going there, but we're gonna try to get, um, see the grapes that are growing, but we're gonna try to get a greenhouse right there. So these are more squashes and some peas and some potatoes. And then you come out here and this is where we really went crazy with um, cantaloupes and watermelons. I don't know why, but where I live, they love, cantaloupes do amazing. Oh, and I have some honeydew. And these are just, these are only like a month, a month old, but let me show you. Let me show you what the cantaloupes look like. See these little babies in here? You find these little, do you see that? Do you see them down there? Anyways, but we really wanted to have a raspberry patch, a massive raspberry patch. So here we have rows of raspberries and we wood chipped in between them. We wood chipped in between them so we could keep down the weeds. I hope you're getting all this. I hope you see this very well. So we have rows and rows of raspberries. And as you can see, we've got these amazing raspberries coming in. I should have plenty to do jam. And then out here we did all the pumpkins. I'm hoping to have enough pumpkins for the whole family. And that's about it. That's about the garden, but it's been years in the making. But I, I love it. You all should be gardening just a little if you can. Anyways, we're gonna go back to Lizzie. But 
If you guys have any questions about gardening, let me know. I want to have a much larger farm than this one day. Much, much bigger. So stay in two for a couple more years. Hopefully it'll be much larger. Let's do it. Okay, okay, what's going on? That was the tour. Okay, all right. They want more Tori's house. We will, we're definitely gonna show. So it's something that we were talking about today that we think will be very fun. I'm in rentals. I keep being in rentals. So my sisters have created great spaces, huh? They're beautiful. And so we think, I want to keep it fun and we'll show you, we'll show you like different things in all the time. Bits. In little bits. Yeah. Like little sneak peeks to get you, get you to come back for more. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, Amy. No, it's been Okay, fun. it's been super fun. Love you guys. Happy Have summer. a great day. And make sure to make the mint julep and the fish. Look, I'll give you a, look how yum. So we're going to enjoy and what? We'll talk to him soon. Yeah. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.